I don't suppose you've seen my uh, small black jumper and baseball cap that I left on that sofa. There's no one even in this house, I swear they keep stealing my shit though. Painting already know what my name is And this year it's only money I'm chasing Don't make me spend all my savings doing for the cause Go play the field, get fluent with the ball Life is tough and deal with the law What's good guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we are in the anabolic kitchen. It's gonna be slightly more informative this video. Less stupid, less entertaining, um, but just gonna run through some of the key foods that you should be eating before you work out, before you train, before you crossfit. So we're gonna jump straight into the video. Gonna kick it off with food number one, and that's gonna be oats. They are a healthy carbohydrate. We need carbs before we train because we need the energy. We want to prevent muscle fatigue, muscle breakdown. Oatmeal tends to sit very well in your stomach and a lot of people tend to train without having too many carbs because you don't want to feel so full. The main benefit is that they are slow digesting carbohydrates. So if you're training for over like 30 minutes into like an hour, a lot of bodybuilding workouts can be an hour and a half. Uh, CrossFit like, you know, full classes can be like an hour by the time you're finished. So you want something that's going to be slow digesting uh, and that's going to be a carbohydrate. It's full of fiber, so it, hence the reason why it takes a while to break down. And it's also got a fairly good protein content. So my choice of carbs is probably always going to be oats. Um, so it's something to consider. Okay, number two is going to be protein. Now, most people associate protein with a post-workout, um, getting that 30 minute anabolic window bullshit when actually it actually makes more sense to have your protein before you train, and this is the reason why. So having protein before you train, possibly like an hour before you actually train, all it means is your protein's gonna be there, ready for when your muscle breaks down, protein synthesis is just gonna be kicked off a little bit earlier. So I'd ignore the whole anabolic window bullshit and there's nothing wrong with having some protein before you, before you train. You know, the amount of protein is what you want in about a cup of your hand. So it's about that much, and we just put it on top there, you know what I mean? I hate you. Now, my choice of protein is the Diet Way by PhD in the Belgian chocolate flavor. Um, if you want something that's actually lighter, um, a lot of people say that having a, a thick protein shake before you train can leave, you know, feeling a little bit sort of uh, full. So I would then recommend something like the Clear Whey protein in the peach ash tea. It's actually very light, very palatable. Um, you can just drink that like an hour before and then you've got the protein ready for when you start to break down the muscle activate protein synthesis and make them gains. Number three is going to be red chili peppers. Now obviously if you hate spicy food then I'd probably avoid this um, but it's nothing wrong with just mixing up your chicken dish or mixing up your meals by just adding some chili peppers into your meals. The benefits of eating your chilies are that they will increase your body temperature they are known to increase your pain threshold, which might be useful if you work out that savage. And they're also a very good source of vitamin C as well. So yeah, having some chili peppers before you train is pretty good for just getting a sweat on and getting that body temperature raised. Number four, this is gonna be beetroot. I'm actually gonna combine this with another food. Um, so number four is gonna be beetroot, which we have here, and also watermelon, which we don't have, but I'll just put an imaginary watermelon here. So both of these foods are actually really good to take pre-workout because they both help produce nitric oxide. So the beetroots contain nitrates, which then convert into nitric oxide, and watermelon contains uh, citrulline, and citrulline converts into nitric oxide as well. The main benefits of increasing your nitric oxide would be Increased blood flow, so you're gonna get blood pumping around your body. Reduced lactic acid buildup, which is gonna be really important, especially these endurance workouts or CrossFit workouts. And also it's gonna increase your ATP stores, your energy. So as it's almost like a, a no brainer to have this before you train. Beetroots, you can either just kind of cut up and eat with your meal, or the best way is probably just to blend them. Um, you can blend a load of beetroots and just drink it possibly as like a drink with your meal. So the time for beetroot and watermelon to convert into nitric oxide will take around two to three hours. So it's probably no worth noting that you might wanna be drinking some beetroot juice or eating watermelon maybe like three hours before you train so that your nitric oxide's basically building up just as you're going to your workout. 
Watermelon is also known for its hydrating properties as well, which again is pretty essential when we're training. So the last one is gonna be caffeine. Obviously, I have to include caffeine, I love caffeine. Basically, caffeine just increases your alertness, your focus, uh, energy stores, reduces fatigue. Um, yeah, it's just a, a great product. It's often found in most pre-workouts. So the method I would uh, suggest you take caffeine is either in a pre-workout in something like Charge by PhD, or in a can of Noco or energy drinks. Um, Noco, my favorite. So if you want a slightly reduced amount of caffeine, then maybe I suggest something like coffee or green tea. Um, but yeah, I'd say if you want a real caffeine boost, then look at something like a Noco or some of the Burn PhD pre-workout. Obviously you can get it from other pre-workouts, but these are the ones I suggest. So if you're looking to get any of the whey protein, clear whey or pre-workout, you can get all these from PhD. I'll put the link down below. It does help me out. I can give you guys a 10% discount code, which is TOMS10. You can use that on the PhD website, that's phd.com. And yeah, hopefully this has been informative. Hopefully you make a note at least one of these five and incorporate it. Let me know how you get on. If you guys watching this right now can think of anything else that I've missed or anything you like to take before you train that you really get a benefit from, I would love to hear it. So comment that down below. If you've liked the video, then please drop it a like, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and again, if you want any subs, head over to phd.com and I'll see you in the next one.